Hi, in this video I want to walk you through the features of the new Osprey Exus 58 pack for men. As of the moment of writing this text I realized that there were three different versions of this pack on the market. So it's good that you remember how it looks, otherwise you can easily get confused. But when you see the features you realize that it is now a totally different pack. So let me go through the text and to show you some pictures to see what you have here. The pack is built in two sizes, you will see the numbers below, and it has floating lead. The lid is also removable, so when you remove it you have an integrated flap jacket and this is how it looks when, with this flap jacket. As you see the pack is completely closed with buckles here. On the other hand, you have all standard features uh, with the uh, hydration sleeve inside and then you have a port behind your neck, but a really new thing here is the adjustable torso length. The back panel is again breathable, but this is what you already had in the previous version. However, now they have included this unique uh, ladder type torso length adjustment. So again, you have two sub sizes and within each of them you have options to move the harness up and down to fit your torso size. So there is no doubt you can, you can always find the best possible length for you. Yet another improvement here is the hip belt. If you follow this series, Exos and Asia, you know that they didn't have hip belt pockets, but now you have them. You have a real good size hip belt, zipper hip belt pockets. So this pack is considerably improved compared to the previous version. All the set of attachments elements you have, including stove on the go, polis attachment system, and the, the fabric is blue sign approved, so it is 100% recycled material. I mentioned the, the sizes, and, and so here are the numbers. You have SM and LXL, and both are ultralight. You see around 1.3 kilograms each of them. So the volume to weight ratio is extraordinary, around 45 liters per kilogram. So this is all I wanted to say here, uh, just to show you my rating, pros and cons. Regarding the cons, the pack has no rain cover and it is without bottom compartment. Now you can understand better why it is so light, because there is no zipper for bottom compartment, divider and so on. Regarding the pros, it is nicely ventilated, it is ultra light, you have adjustable torso length, you can use it without lead to reduce the weight even, even more, and you have a pack built from recycled materials. Thank you for watching, there is a link below this video so you can follow it and read the text in detail.